How can I help you? Good. I've dropped off some information there. What's your name? Uh, my name is Constable Dowling. And can I get your uh, registration number, please? For me? Your registration number, please. My badge number? Yes. Okay, it's 55780. So what can I do for okay. you today? If you look at the, uh, there's an email dated July 1st, mm -hmm. 2020. Okay. If you would like to look at that. Which, where would I find you that? You send the in, the in the pile. You're saying which date? July 1st, 2020. What's the nature of okay. the complaint today? This nature of complaint is contained inside of, it should be that email there and the one dated July 1st. Go to July 1st. I didn't mean um, nope, that. there's another one with uh, a larger one called Crimes Against Humanity. And there's the supporting documents for the rights of the child and the U UN Convention of Human Rights. Right there, it says, um, right there, the last one, bottom, bottom. This one? Yes. If you open it and go against the, the issues, I would like to have an email communication based on those, those, that information in there because those are the articles of the, the UN um, Declaration of Human Rights that have been violated and the articles against the Con UN Convention of the Rights of the, of the Child, as well as criminal code violations that have been perpetrated here in North Battleford. Okay. I've appealed to the, the, I brought information here to the RCMP Mm -hmm. I've gone to the civic, the municipal government, the provincial government, and the federal government. They stayed silent. I am going to declare right now, as a person who is being persecuted by his country, mm -hmm. I want a representative from the United Nations to attend my home. I do not want any RCMP or officer of the Canadian government because they have been complicit in the systematic oppression, persecution, and torture of myself and the people around me. Mm -hmm. And I would like to have a representative from the United Nations contact me. And I would like to see an email communication for the things that I've asked for based on the Freedom of Information Act. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want information based off the Freedom of Information Act, you can apply to the ATIP through the, uh, the website yourself. Now in relations for me, in relation to me contacting the United Nations. Well, you can go through whoever you need to. I do not, I am not contacting them. This is your responsibility because you're not allowed to come to my home while I'm a persecuted person. This communication will be published who came, publicly. Who came to your house and what's the nature I of the I don't, complaint? if you read the information contained in there, there's well, also a third party report. Yeah that is contained in there, that is by an independent person who has witnessed these things. Mm -hmm. I do not want any interaction because I have fear for my safety and the people around me because of the continual harassment that is being perpetrated and these are crimes against humanity. Okay, but what's your complaint? Read it. Read all the documentation and the 91 pages that I submitted to the RCMP earlier on some false allegations that they conspired to frame me for a crime which I did not commit and they knew that I did not commit. And which was that? It was an uttering threats complaint, which Constable Sakella was the one who dealt with and I need the other officers attached with it and any other officer. They need their names and their badge numbers for what they've done because this has already gone to the United Nations. It's also gone to the Secretary General's office, every person there. Okay, well, it seems that your complaint would be against the RCMP itself. And there's not just the RCMP, there's other people involved as well. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you is that I, myself, will not be contacting the United Nations because I do not have that power. Okay, then. Okay. I'm sure that somebody within the RCMP organization or somebody up the food chain will be able and to. And I'm going to provide you with that information. Okay. Okay. In relation to your questions and concerns, the only person that I can provide to you yes. is that you have to appeal to the Public Complaints Commission with the RCMP, and that would be um, those investigations are held by a higher governing body. Okay. When I have been, I've, I've appealed to the federal government numerous times and they've okay. been silent on this. This is why I need, is, this is why I need to find the avenues in which I can have a U, United Nations representative come and deal with this. Okay. 
So this is what I'm explaining to you. Yes. Today, is that with this number to the RCMP Public Complaint, Complaint Commission, okay? So a website, is there an email address with that as well? No, you have to call the number to get a hold of somebody. Okay. Okay. I cannot put you in contact with those people because they are the ones that investigate complaints against the RCMP yes. and any other government body that would and, and like I said, I want to make myself clear. Mm -hmm. Until I have contact with yep. the United Nations and a representative from there, okay. I do not want any member of the RCMP coming to my home. Okay. For I any reason whatsoever. Members will not come to your house for any other investigation. If you make a complaint, we have to come to your house. Yes, we won't be making any complaint because there's a great degree of bias that has been demonstrated mm -hmm. and it's documented mm -hmm. and it's had a blind eye turned on. Mm -hmm. And I would like the names of the officers that I spoke to. That you can provide me. I cannot provide that to you. Yes. Because I don't know the nature of the complaint and I'm just hearing about all of this today. Okay. Okay. But so you can look I it up. Cannot, I cannot provide that to you. Okay. okay, then when somebody make, can listen, provide. Listen, when you make your complaint to the Public Complaint Commission, they can provide you with all of that information. I cannot provide you with any information. When I came here before and I spoke to someone, mm -hmm. and he gave me the badge number of the female officer that yep. they were dodging from giving to me. Okay. You know, oh, okay. you already know her name. That's not the only person. There was okay. a male that was with her. Yes. There were also if other you know officers. All their names, if you know all their names, I don't. Listen, if you know all their names, you have to call them. I don't know all their names. Well, I can't give that to you because I don't even know where to start or what you're doing. Okay? Well, I'm sure. It, it, but if you call the Public Complaint Commission, they can help you. Okay? I'm pretty sure that you'd be able to find out who was dealing with the ones that were dealing with this file. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to do it. Why not? Because I'm not. You're a public servant. And refusal to do so is also in okay. violation if you do of not my have rights. A if you do not have a complaint, this is a complaint. I'm going to walk away. This is a complaint okay. because this you realize is a that if Listen, yes. it's a complaint against the RCMP. Yes. And I will not entertain that. Those are the there are other involved. parties involved okay. that the complaints are also stemming from. Call that number. Okay. But when I'm asking you for the information happen. about those people. You're, vi happen. you're violating the rights, my rights. No. You have to give me their badge numbers. Unfortunately, I'm not. Okay, well, we'll see about that. I'll, I'll talk, contact them, okay. and this will go to the highest authorities. Call them. Thank you. Fair enough.